All right. So happy Memorial Day weekend. Hope everybody's uh, getting a good rest. Uh, I've got a quick introduction to um, my class on NCAA student athletes and the transfer portal. Uh, this is just a quick introduction, trying out the Udemy um, platform, just to kind of beta test it. Uh, it's about a two hour course, 20 bucks, uh, just kind of covers the rules and regs, uh, what you can do, what you can't do, who you, who you can talk to, who you can't talk to, coaches, boosters, agents, all that kind of fun stuff. And it, the reason I've, I've done uh, this course, you know, focused only on the transfer portal is that it seems over on the name image likeness side, uh, it's pretty well buttoned up for today. That that might change. It always does. Uh, there, whatever rules you put in place, there's going to be uh, crews that find a way around it because that's what they do. But with nil, if you're going through a third party service like Open Doors, uh, and there's no downside for the athlete. Uh, they don't pay a trans transaction fee, and the compliance is built in for the nil. Uh, the transaction fee goes to the company that's hiring the athlete. So that's pretty well locked in for today. What we really have to worry about right now is the transfer portal because there's so much temptation and bad actors out there that will pay money under the table to the kid, to the family, to try to get them recruited over or to transfer to a different university. So lots of gray area, lots of ways to get in trouble. And the reason that's so important is that, you know, eventually that kid is going to retire from college sports and they're going to be out there looking for a job. So what is going to show up on page one of the Google search when the kid is sending out resumes, you know, two to five years after they graduate, nobody cares if they were on the track team or played tennis at the university. Nobody's going to care if they're looking for a job and you've got a page one on Google filled with NCAA investigations and taking cash under the table. That's going to be a problem. So we want to get these, you know, kind of the standard set before the 17, 18 year old heads off to college and they're getting money thrown at them left and right to make a transfer. So got to set those ethical standards and decision making ahead of time before they go to school at college. Uh, so for the high school coaches, the sports parents just kind of get uh, some knowledge on the transfer portal, what's required, uh, the timelines, who you can talk to, when you can talk to them. Get that dialed in, uh, and this is going to be, again, it's about a two-hour course. You can get all this information for free at the ncaa.org website, but I've tried to consolidate uh, the key points so you don't have to poke around over at the NCAA's website. And again, this is a two-hour course, and this uh, video that I've attached here is about a four-minute introduction to the course. Uh, so feel free to sign up. Full refund if you don't like it, but I think it's helpful to kind of dial, dial in on what's required on the transfer portal. That's really going to be the issue for the foreseeable future. All right, take care.